Look at what I just found. Holy cow. Hello everybody, I'm Mantis Mavic, and welcome back to another video. Over the summer of 2017, I went upstate to New York's Herkimer Diamond Mine. I had been there one time before, and it was an amazing experience, and this time I thought to bring my camera and record some videos to show off all the cool gemstones that I found. Before I start showing off the mining, I want to give some backstory behind this amazing place. Herkimer diamonds are double crystallized quartz that is found in the grounds of upstate New York. The gemstone is definitely not as rare as actual diamonds, but it does sell for a pretty high price. It is also almost as clear as diamonds, and their selling price is mostly because of how clear they are. The actual diamond mine is a KOA resort where you can bring your camper. The KOA is very well kept and has a swimming pool and is right by a lake, as you saw in the opening footage. Herkimer diamonds can only be found in the Herkimer County of New York and the Mohawk River Valley. They are water clear and have each six points. Now I stayed at the Herkimer camp site for two days, so I was able to come up with two different strategies. My first one on the first day was to walk around like this and just look for shiny objects. Now this worked out quite well for the first day, and I got around 30 to 50 tiny little Herkimer diamonds, but then the second day I bought a chisel and a hem hammer. I could now break into giant clusters of these Herkimer diamonds, and that's where you get the big, very expensive one. Now I didn't get as many rocks, but I did get a greater sum of giant rocks, as in one inch. The actual Herkimer diamond place is a quarry of just rocks that are filled with these Herkimer diamonds and just some of them which aren't, and they either have really small crystals or they just have calcite in them. Now this is my example of all of the rocks that I got. Now this is a pretty big collection because this is probably about four days worth of stuff because I got a bunch of rocks two years ago, but we'll start off with the biggest one over here. This is about an inch and a half, and it is my biggest rock, and it sells very well, except it has crackage in it. Herkimer Diamonds have this type of ranking system. There's AA class, A class, B class, C class, and D class. Now, that one that you just saw was probably a B, C, or D just because, well, probably a B or a C because of all the crackage in it. But this one here, this could be an A or a B. It's very see-through. There's a little bit of crackage and a little bit of dirt on the rock. Now, this one is pretty see-through and clear, and that's the selling point of these rocks because they look almost as clear as glass or a diamond. Now, here's an example of the type of rock that you would find. Now, I actually have a pretty big diamond in this one. It seems to be maybe an A or AA class. It's very nice. I didn't want to shatter the rock, so I decided to bring it home and to put it in an enclosed area and then break it apart. But just to show you what it's like, you can see here, even though it's a little bit blurry, that's the actual rock in there. Now, it seems to have a bit of dirt around it and on it and dust and all that, but once I get it out, it should be a great looking rock. Now we're heading into mediocre rocks, as these are some cracked, but still quite big, parts of giant Herkimer diamonds that would be found in exploded parts of the quarry. Now most of these rocks are shattered and they don't actually sell quite well because they're not in the right shape. They're not fully crystallized. 
Next are the small rocks that were very nice looking and they seem to be quite clear. Now this is just a big jumble of all of the different ones. Some of them as you can see are clear, some of them are quite dirty. Those are the clear ones right here and on the right are the dirty ones and they aren't the best. Most of them are not fully formed or have parts chipped off but I still have some perfect ones. Thank you guys so much for watching. I made a shorter video today just because I feel like the 10 minute videos just don't seem to keep up interest as long as I would have liked. Now, five minutes is just a short video. It gets a couple facts out and it shows you the really cool stuff. And I just would like to thank you guys for watching and also, I have to thank you so much for hitting around 400 views on my Rhinebeck video. Now, if you haven't actually seen the video, it's probably on screen now, but I swear I did not buy the views and all that. Someone from the actual place, who I will not say out of privacy, shared the video on the Facebook group, and I was able to receive 400 views, which is astounding. Thank you so much. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and check out any other videos. I do a lot of drones and gaming and praying mantids. More to come in the future. Thank you.